Mucho progress. <laughs> but what's what's progress in Spanish? I don't know, dude. I need to practice this stuff for when the for whatever, man. All right, so major pro mucho progreso. Uh, yeah, yeah, fill neck in, done. Checked off on the pyrotech. Had to put a kicker, 45. Weld that girl in, and uh, she's nice and tight and straight. I already checked it with the the reservoir. Um, and also where the shock comes up right in here and it's tight it's right it looks good I got the doors in I got my secondary door latch in as well I mounted my power block and my ground junction where my um, switch pros unit is gonna sit right here and then my switch panel will be obviously up here but that's gonna run down and then this is where the brain will be as well as all my power. So my powers will come in into the block and then off of the block will route to the rear harness, the front harness, and all my grounds will also ground out here. So that's tucked in there nice and tight. Uh, I mounted all of the rigid lights. So I have a red, amber, blue, red. Um, the reds will be my brakes, brake lights, and yeah, so transmission's in, clutch cable's in, um, the strap to come up and over it is in, shifter is in, I mounted my rugged radio variable air controller, um, it's a speed controller for my fresh air system from rugged radios. Uh, I think I touched down that that's already mounted as well. Uh, I also made something pretty trick here. Check these out. So with these tires, these 30 inch tires, the gladiators that I had shaved, um, they are, they would rub. They would rub on this fender as it cycles backwards. So I pulled it out with a port of power. I put it up on the beam, pressed it out, and then made this mount here. So that way, when it cycles and I'm turning and it cycles back, it's not gonna smash and peel this fender off. In theory, hopefully it doesn't happen. It might, it very well might happen. But um, I drilled these, nut started these, and then bolted through here. Uh, put a little dimple die in there for some looks. Now I just need, need to figure out what, what color to paint it. What else? Uh, I erased everything on my list that I already checked out. I need to get the rigid rear hatch light on for my motor compartment. Button that up. Um, mount my air filter. My fuel cell, I need to plumb it. My oil cooler, I need to plumb still. Uh, I also need to notch my firewall panels that, have, that were bead rolled. Super sick, pretty tight. Um, I need to notch my seat belt tabs or my seatbelt straps. I also need to um, put my, my power switch, my power kill switch on there. Uh, so yeah, some progress. I, I shouldn't have erased everything that I did today because I did a lot, but another day down and that is the current update on, on the goods. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited that all this stuff is buttoned up and done though. I also did a little something trick that I don't know if I should show you guys because it is top secret. However, I want people to finish races. I want people to show up with something solid and, and make it make it far. So let me grab my light and show you guys this because I feel like this is a huge, a huge, huge deal. Um, and it can happen to someone who does not know what the hell they're doing. Um, there's there's many ways you can you can lock out those rear pivot, rear inner pivots on the trailing arms. But here's how I did it. So you can see the two tabs up in there on each side of the bolt. Let me go grab a cotter pin to show you what's up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use a cotter pin. I might even be able to use like a 316 uh, quick pin, um, kind of similar to what you would find on a trailer hitch. So boom, standard cotter pin. Something you would use on your axle nut for your your micro stubs and bow. Now that that's torqued, I'm gonna put that in there and I will just flare it out. 
So that is huge though. I do not want that to back out. If that backs out, there goes the whole corner of the car. Um, it's gonna bend your spring plates, it's gonna potentially screw up your, your torsions, uh, your shock, your brake lines, just all bad news. So this passenger or driver side, especially since it's getting cranked on every time it cycles up and it's under load, it's notorious for loosening those up. Um, this is my fix to that. And uh, I recommend this to anyone that builds anything off-road. If you do not have a nut to back it up on the opposite side, um, especially on this, like stock applications, you need to do something, whether it's tie wire or anything of that nature to make that happen. I also got all my bolts uh, today for my, my rear shocks. These are shanked, so as you can see, there's a big washer on this side. There's a big washer on this side, and you can see the shank comes all the way through right there. So this was a three and a half inch long bolt that I cut down um, after I stuck it through. I cut down to make sure that the shank is all the way through. Those, those fine threads on the bolt, if it's not, if it's sitting there on the tab on a pivot, pivot point like this, that fine thread can, can wiggle around in there as things are moving and act as almost like a file and then open up the holes over time. Um, just preventative maintenance. One other little trick thing I did today. Right here on my seat tabs, I, I tack welded these Allen heads on here to where I can now put my seat on this side and slide it into place. Slide it on over and then throw these bolts in. But by doing that, I won't have to align these. It'll slide over, put these bolts in, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Moving on with my day. Got all my door jam door assembly back on and that's pretty much to the extent of what I've gotten done today. Also welded in a buggy whip tab. Boom. For when we go to the desert, gotta throw a whip up and uh made sure that uh that's that's in and on prior to all the wiring being done. Uh race car doesn't necessarily need it, but um you know, it's it's fun to have some of those cool little dress up things. What else? What else? I think that's it for now. Yeah, that's all I got for you. Hopefully some of these tricks and tips helped. Ooh. I don't know if I showed you this yet, but let me I'll just touch down on it real quick. The armor. I wanna keep my e-brake. I put armor on here so I can retain the hoon handle. You know the deal, more to come. Let's go racing, man 400 or bus fuckers. Uh, yeah! yeah! Oh no. What are you doing dude? What are these guys, let's check in with these dudes. Oh whoa. What are you thinking? I'm just strapping her up, no big deal. Did you say Taco Tuesday? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. I already made dinner. She already made dinner. Uh, we we'll give double dinner? Brother. <laughs> uh, triple dinner, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, Garrett. Dude, how much travel are you pulling on this bad boy? It looks like it's psyching 69 inches of travel at least. It's not all the way down. Right now it's going to be strapped at about 20. 20 inches. Not too shabby. Not too bad. I'm pretty stoked on it. For, That's, yeah. For what I'm gonna do with it, this is perfect. That's exactly what I need. Huh? Without tubbing the wheels. Yeah, oh yeah. Or notching the frame and yeah. all that. That's exactly. solid. Exactly. Well, looks good. Let's go smash on it soon. Thanks, loading dock. Loading dock. Oh yeah. This, <laughs> the slug shark's going off the loading dock for no. sure. <laughs> uh, oh God. Yeah. All right. It'll clearance the fenders real quick. <laughs> back to it <laughs> less than 10 days to show up to the mint with a race ready vehicle prp window nets check got my doors back in with all of my latches and everything working uh, proper and tight this firewall is turn has turned out 
Magnificent. I am actually stoked on this. Door latches are in for my secondaries, as well as uh, this two-piece firewall is pretty rad. Yes, it does still come out with uh, with a little bit of uh, bending and twisting and finagling getting it out, but I put my battery kill switch here, and uh, it is nice and tight off the fuel cell. The uh, fuel fill turned out radical. Very, very happy with that. Today, I am going to work on getting my mob armor iPad mount stuff set up. Um, I also have a, a charging cord for that to where my GPS does not um, die. We're gonna be using their app that mob armor has. They have an app that's pretty, pretty epic actually. Um, I've used it a few different times on my cell phone when I'm out in the desert and I have no service. If I'm in somebody's ride that does not have GPS, it is rad. Oh man, I didn't even know that they did this. Mob, you guys came through. This is sick. I just open this up and check this out. Bow. It's got Wilkie Works laser engraved on the case. That's so rad, that's so cool. Um, these are lightweight and durable as all hell. Um, really excited to put this in the car with this mount. Um, it's gangster. I'm gonna do this today as well as I'll follow up with some progress after I get that mounted on the, um, <coughs> on the A-pillar tube. I'm gonna mount it somewhere up in here and uh, have it be right about here angled to where Cowboy and myself can both see that um, easily. After I do that, I'll, I might either lay a sick gusset on the inside or the outside there, as well as probably a small gusset somewhere in here um, to accommodate that. And then, yeah, but I did not weld these door bars in yet, as you can see, um, just because one for fitment of the panel and then accessibility in here for wiring and all that good stuff. You guys want to see what a mess I made yesterday? This is only part of the tools. I put all the air tools and a bunch of other stuff away, but yeah, professional mess maker at it once again today. Um, gonna get to this though and start checking these things off. I'll show you the finished product uh, on the next, next clip. Yeah, yeah. Per usual. It's late. However, I made some progress today that I'm pretty soaked on. Check it out. So this side on my A pillar, I braced the body here. Up high, I braced the body here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me get a let me get a light. Please hold. Holding. All right. Yep. Kevin's grinding. Bow. So, boom, that's it there. Light's kind of playing funny, doing funny things, the GoPro. This side is smaller because my mob armor mount is gonna go right here. It looks super sick. Um, I got a new, <laughs> I got a new shift lever knob. It's pretty sick, boom, boom. I like it. It's uh, brown and empty and it says some it has some little diamonds and things on the front. Um, I also got the Sky Pro, which is the enhancer for my GPS mounted up. Rad. Um, I got a couple notches done on the panels and the firewall, battery kill switch. Uh, what else? What else did I do today, Kevin? I don't feel like I really did a whole lot. Can't tell all secrets. Uh, yeah, uh, oil coolers on, oil cooler, um, and the <coughs> filter relocator on. I pl started plumbing for the pickup for my fuel pump, started plumbing for this. I also plumbed my vent line that'll come from here to this side of the chassis. So it's on this side, if I roll the car that way, this will be the high side of the fuel cell. We're going to play like we're never gonna roll this thing please dear god and then it'll come up over here to where if it's completely upside down this will be the the high or this will be the low side 
and then it'll drop down and dump out over there which will be the low side then so basically that way at any angle the car is at if for any reason it does go upside down you're safe yeah, also, door, bars ready to go in, right? door bars are ready yeah i notched the panels around those uh, i'm not going to weld those in until i finish all of the the wiring and everything interior that'll be one of the very last things just because i don't want to work around those you know so yeah um also switch pro brain is in the uh this is my power block where all my powers from here come into here and then out here for my front and rear harness makes it super easy and then my ground junction as well full throttle batteries back in since i got everything painted uh, i just slapped that girl back in um rear hatch i put a rigid light on my rear hatch boom bow that way i can uh that way when this thing's up if anything needs to be worked on i can work on it i gotta put the spring back in here to hold this girl up um, which is pretty much an update ah oh, dude so tight i got some new boxo tools too check these out I got their impact set. Bow. I think it's like 87 pieces or something. I also got their hammer and chisel and punch set. Rad. This is uh, a tool for making a center mark. Boom. Now you can drill it. Center tool, centering tool. I could have used that for my aluminum stuff, but uh, it happens. What else we got? I got some long dongs, dude. Yeah, look at these things. Yeah. Should I tell them about the secret for the gas cap? I'm not gonna tell you the secret for the gas cap. Dude, my face is dirty. I got looking like Sanchez again. Um, also got their file set, nut driver set, pretty much to complement the tools. Big wrench set, uh, speed wrenches, as well as circlip or clip pliers master set boom 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 shout out to boxo those guys make some quality products quality tools and that's what i'm using to <coughs> put this whole thing together however i need to go home and get some sleep tomorrow i gotta go to coin power sports and then from there i gotta go to fullerton to get my motor which we're gonna dyno super exciting and i only have like 10 days until we gotta go to the mint. That's not good. I mean, it is good, but it's not good because there's still so much to do. So, with that being said, I need I to go home. You. you believe in me? I believe in you, bro. Yeah! I know there's been some people that have been doubting it, but I will lose sleep over this thing. I will have this car done. Me and Troy, and I know if need be, oh, Kevin will hitter. jump in. Pinch hitter. Pinch, pinch hitter, dude. <laughs> Fucking Louisville slugger and shit. But we're making it to the mint. Yeah. Mint or bust, baby. Tomorrow's a new day, and we're going to get it. Hasta la vista, baby. It's an exciting day. This man has been working his fingers to the bones, baby. You guys remember Richard? from uh, one of the early episodes. I went to their shop at Salt and Sea and we cut and turned that beam and uh, basically that was the first time I met him. Came through heavy, they made their way to the shop and he's, by, he's also the, the man behind this here 1600cc furious motor. This motor <laughs> made so much power, broke two dynos. Two dynos. <laughs> That's what we're claiming, but uh, no, I think I think it was just a uh, little bad luck, little this, little that, whatever it might be. But we are here in the city of Orange. Uh, we're at Proformance. Um, this is this is what's up right here. They've already broken it in. You guys seated the rings and kind of ran it, heat cycled it a few times, uh, which is exciting. So we know it runs, and now we're gonna make a couple couple pulls. Let's hear this girl. I'm excited. This is my first, this is my first go at it. Woohoo! Yeah yeah! You're not even excited, dude!
baby. Nothing. I like it. This is like a, a little compressor, baby. That's exciting. That's really exciting. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The smiles for miles. We're probably making a whole 82 horsepower, but she sounds furious. Yeah, we have like what like eight days, so we gotta get to the mint. Yeah, listen. Well, no, my shit's not even wired. I gotta do my air filter. I gotta do so much still. That's I still gotta go home and build my motor. You gotta build your motor still? Oh Jesus! You see that? That's what that's what the slattens will do. I should have parts in tomorrow. Yeah, that's what the slattens will do though. They will get you done. These guys also are willing to build full rollers, full race cars. These guys have. What, like 25 plus race cars at your guys' yeah, property? Least. Yeah, next time I go there, I will show you guys their archive of VW, VW everything, every class you can think of. And, <laughs> like, seriously, dude, and some crazy Jeep shit, dude. Like, have you seen their, their setup? No. Oh, it's, it's something. I'll tell you what, it's rad. Dude, in, uh, in Palm Springs. Oh, okay. Thank Palm you so Springs. much. If, if you're in Orange County and you need some VW stuff, done this performance they got a dyno they got full capabilities but this right here is the motherfucker i'm fucking with <laughs> because she sounds good she's a runner i gotta put her in thank you guys uh i'm sure you, you got plenty to do yeah you've been how late you've been staying up working on your shit midnight every night yeah, almost that's right I still, I sleep now, so like 10 or 11. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to, too, but I wake up at 4 o'clock thinking yeah, about what I got to do. 6 o'clock every morning. <laughs> so, that's that's that. It's back to the shop. Let's load her up, dude. Nice work. <laughs> nice work. Oh, you hear that? Yeah. Just ready to get it.